Hi, my name is Don Elmy, and I'm an adult with Asperger's Syndrome. And a year ago, I made a video where I talked about my autism as a child and how it affects me now. And I entitled that video, video My Autism 20 Years After I Was Diagnosed. And I did, in that video, I did talk a little bit about uh, my compulsiveness towards film. You know, how, and I thought I would talk a little bit more about how I was with it as a, at a younger age. And when I first uh, started uh, studying film when I was five years old, and it started when I when I saw Jaws on TV. And instead of being you know terrified of it, like I'm pretty sure a lot of little kids would have been, I actually was uh, very fascinated by it, and I just wanted wanted to understand it. And I started watching that like more films from that point on. And one of the it's one of the biggest uh, traits of autism is you know compulsiveness towards a certain subject and film it's always been you know film for me, and I started studying uh, film like from that point on I went went to Western Kentucky University and got a bachelor's degree in uh, film, and I'm actually considering um, going going to grad school maybe get a, a master's or a doctorate or um, PhD you know, well I guess I'll crisscross that bridge when I come to it. Now, one of the biggest things about me when it comes to film is that I have been able to absorb information from visual media. Like, every, basically everything that I study, you know, visually from whether it's a film or a book, just anything that catches my attention, I, it just burns into my mind like a brand. And so, as I watch a film, I not only am I getting entertainment from it, I'm absorbing the information as far as... Um, who made it, how it was made, what year it was made, and the certain achievements that it made in the industry. And as far as for like when I was little, and I you know, always loved going to uh, video stores because you know the expression of uh, a kid in a candy store? <laughs> well, that's pretty much how I was whenever I uh, walked into a Target or Best Buy or uh, a Blockbuster back when those still existed. But uh, Today, whenever I look, look at uh, a video store, I do it primarily just for uh, getting research uh, on, a, on films that I feel like I should un understand. If it's a film that gets a lot of critical praise, or if it made a big achievement in the film industry, then I just believe that it's worth looking into. And, when, and I run a YouTube channel, and one of the biggest things that I uh, love to do for my YouTube channel is do reaction videos. There have been, uh, so I've been getting a lot of requests ever since I uh, started doing uh, reactions. Like, mostly people love, like to learn I've watched uh, trailers for upcoming films. Uh, the latest one I did that I posted just yesterday was for the new Marvel film Venom, which stars uh, Tom Hardy as uh, the title character. What the hell are you? Oh man! As I've been doing these reaction videos, it's really been broadening my horizons. You know, getting me into uh, all kinds of new things. Like people have been giving me stuff that I thought was hilarious, and there have been videos that were mind blowing, and then there were some that were just downright terrifying. Oh my god! And one thing that I'm trying new with my uh, YouTube channel is uh, doing movie reviews because that's one of the things that a lot of people have been saying that I should do and. There are two uh, movies that have from uh, this year, from this year so far that I'm pretty excited about uh, reviewing: uh, Ready Player One and A Quiet Place. And when Avengers uh, Infinity War comes out, I'm definitely gonna look into that as well. Now I do have a younger cousin who also has uh, has autism, and his name is Mitch. And he when he and his kind of, kind of compulsiveness towards subjects, he, the biggest subject for him is superheroes. Now, I don't I th I'm not sure if he lo if he is into comic books, but I do know that he loves uh, superhero movies and video games. And like every time I look at a trailer that's for a new Marvel film, you know, for the MCU, or if it's a DC Universe movie of like uh, Justice League or anything like that. I look at that and I'm just like, huh, man, Mitch is going to be super thrilled about this. And uh, one very uh, recent example where he uh, showed how much he loves uh, superheroes as far as video games is when we had him over uh, at uh, my place for Easter. We, we were also uh, celebrating his 16th birthday. He uh, came, he always likes to uh, hang out in my, in my room and uh, play a little bit of uh, my Xbox. And so so when he found my Xbox One, he decided to play my download of, uh, what was it, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, or Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. And he always loved playing as uh, Captain America or Thor and Hulk. 
And you know, because and he always loved to play as just those superhero characters in that game, because there's another set of characters you could play as, uh, for, as far as you know, the Capcom side. You know, Capcom is the company that made all kinds of popular video game franchises like, um, let's see, Street Fighter, Mega Man, Resident Evil, and Devil May Cry. So whenever when I asked him, Mitch, if you ever played any of those characters, I'm just like, hey, Mitch, you ever played as uh, Dante or Chris Redfield, anybody like that? And he's like, no, I love uh, Captain America and Hulk. <laughs> Yeah, but that's just Mitch. He just he, superheroes are his thing, just like how movies are my thing. And uh, film, my I feel like a uh, compulsiveness uh, towards certain subjects when you're a little kid. It could lead to something great as far as uh, career-wise. Like aside from just doing uh, videos for YouTube, you know, inter entertaining people, I did, I have been working with a DePaul grad student named Janet who. Who has who has been work I've been working with as an assistant director and executive producer for a uh, film that she's going to make at Cinespace, and uh, not only that, but she's also offered to um, have me work with her as an editor for future projects, a opportunity that I am more than happy to accept. And that's just one of the things that I love about as far as uh, this field, you know, just getting out there, working with other people to create something great. And I want to keep continue putting my absolute best into it, and also just improve as I go. Yeah, I mean, just fil film is just such an exciting field, and I'm very happy to be part of it. One of the things that I love about film is symbolism. Like, um, when I actually, on one of my videos that I reacted to, uh, I checked out the music video for Maroon 5's uh, song "Wait," and and everything about that uh, that video had so much. It was really symbolic, and it just demonstrates how when a relationship goes downhill, everything just unravels. And I immediately, like right away, I caught onto that. Very clever. I know exactly what this represents. I do apply symbolism to my reaction videos as well, because of this uh, shelf full of DVDs and movies right behind me. Because you know how when uh, cartoons, when a char or animation, when a character is thinking about something and a thought bubble appears, well, that's kind of what I was going for with this. This uh, this shelf represents how my mind was, you know, primarily as a young age, uh, how I'm just absorbing all kinds of films, you know, all, just about every film that I was into. As I kept absorbing things, it just piled, everything just started piling up. It just kept building, and building, and building. And as it kept building, I just kept on getting, a broadening my horizons, getting into other things. I focused on different uh, franchises, different genres, and all kinds of cinematic masterpieces. And lately, I've been trying to stay caught up with hit TV shows. I mean, honestly, who doesn't? Ever since I became self-aware and I just discovered that I had the ability to absorb information from not just film, but from multiple forms of visual media, like, uh, say, I was just thinking, you know, what better way to put something like that to use than to try and try to learn all kinds of new skills and new, um, and new hobbies, new interests. Yeah, and today, as an, it's more easier than ever thanks to modern technology. You know how you can just you can just access anything from from the internet, all kinds of um, new sources of information. That's basically what this is to me. It's a source of endless information right there in my hand. And uh, I mean, basically, what I'm what I'm trying to what I've been trying to do is just um, learn all kinds of new social skills, new um, new and just new interests. Basically, just whatever I want. And today, is it with modern technology, it's easier than ever. I always love to just get out there and do something. Like I, I over this past oh, this past year, I've tried uh, snowboarding, uh, bowling, and just uh, just hanging out with friends. And and I actually do have one friend who has uh, Asperger's syndrome. You know, he's on the same part of the spectrum as me. My friend Nick, who has been working with me uh, lately, we've been working together as uh, business partners. Nick has also been uh, wanting to uh, work with me on uh, reviews. We're definitely thinking about reviewing uh, it, the 2017 version. That's how I was, that's how I always am with uh, uh, when it comes to a film project. I'm just like, all right, Nick, let's get this done, man. Just you you and me, bro. You and me. And so I say to all the parents who have children with autism, the subjects that they can be interested in, they can lead to a path to something great. I mean, look at me. I studied film for all my life and I have been able to find work as a assistant director and executive producer and I will have future work coming to me. And I'm very, and I'm really excited about what lies ahead. Just can't wait to keep working with this field and, and just keep improving my skills from it. If, you, if your children are 
enga- are engaging in a field that, that can prove to be you know, a, a great path to something, let them pursue it. And so, hope this video proves to be useful to you all. I'm Don Elmy. Goodbye.